It's time to talk NFL player props for week six. And as we do every week, I will give you my five best player prop bets. Last week, I went three and two for the second straight week. Remember, we started back in week four, so I'm six and four in the season. As my director, Joe, likes to say, we are in the green in terms of picking player props. Still looking for that first five and a week, so let's get it and make it happen this week. We start with the game of the week, and this week, a prop that I've mentioned before. That's the Buffalo Bills. They will play the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead on Sunday afternoon. And again, I've got my eyes on Josh Allen. The Bills QB continues to crush his total rushing yards prop. Last week, the number was 40 and a half yards against the Steelers. This week is 46 and a half, and Allen has gone over it in four out of five games this season, and has gone over in nine of the last 11 games against playoff teams since the start of 2021. Don't overthink this one. Bang the over with Josh Allen. For my next prop, we go to the Steel City where the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, I really like the Steelers to be competitive in this game of two struggling offenses. However, I'm not sure how often Pittsburgh will find the end zone. They have not been a good team in the red zone at all this season, which has meant a good deal of opportunities for kicker Chris Boswell. Take a look at Boswell's prop number for field goals made at one and a half. Pretty good number. You can find some good value with this one. I think the Steelers moved the ball better than they did last week in Buffalo, and Boswell gets at least two field goals on Sunday. Give me Boswell over one and a half made field goals. All right, here's my one for the Giants fans. As the G-Men host the Baltimore Ravens this week, and they basically have no receivers. Take a look at the receiving yards total for Saquon Barkley. I've seen the number at 29 and a half yards, and Barkley should be able to figure to be very involved in the receiving game for Big Blue. Currently, Barkley has a 18.3% target share, which is the highest on the team. The Baltimore pass defense is one you think the Giants would try to attack considering the fact they've allowed the fifth most receiving yards this season. Barkley, over 29 and a half receiving yards, looks like a good bet to me. Let's go down to the MIA to talk about a player that has been MIA. That would be Minnesota Vikings wide receiver Justin Jefferson. Jefferson and the Vikings visit the Dolphins in week six, and Jefferson hasn't caught a touchdown pass for the Vikes since week one. However, this is where I think the drought ends for Minnesota and their wideout. Jefferson, he has a favorable matchup this week as the Finns have allowed 867 receiving yards to wide receivers. That's ninth most in the league, and they're tied for the fifth most touchdowns. I'm going with Jefferson as an anytime touchdown scorer this week. And last but not least, we got to talk about the beast, which would be New York Jets running back Brees Hall. Last week, Hall had a breakout game against Miami, which saw him tally 197 yards on 20 touches in a gangrene win. He ran for 97, and he also had two catches for 100 yards in week five. Now, check out the prop for Hall, rushing plus receiving yards. Number right now is 82 and a half, and I like this number because although he's averaged 11.3 touches in Gangreen's first three games, the rookie back has produced at least 60 total yards in four of his first five games. Following last week's performance, I would expect to see more touches for Hall in week six against Green Bay. With how dynamic of a player Hall appears to be, Bang Brees, Beast Hall, over 82 and a half rushing and receiving yards. And that's it for this week's player props for me. Remember, last week we went three and two, but you know how we do. We're going for five and oh, we're trying to win y'all some bucks. We'll see y'all in week seven.